Watch as I demonstrate how to create a stunning acrylic painting of a serene sky with a beautiful tree using simple techniques. Uh, follow along as I guide you through each step from blending the perfect sky colors containing blue, pink and white to adding intricate details of the tree. Uh, the tree that I am gonna make will be a little greener. See, the, the scene that I am trying to create would be of evening, you know, uh, when the light is not too harsh and the brightness is not too much. But still we can see the colors of the leaves that are, you know, facing the wind. Um, whether you are a beginner or an experienced painter, this tutorial is sure to inspire your creativity and uh, help you create a breathtaking nat natural scene. For the, uh, the color that I am using is Fabricryl acrylic colors and the brush that I am using is, is of no specific brand, they are just local brushes, bad brushes that I am using right now. Uh, other than that, the, the, the palette that I have been asked a lot about is nothing but an ashtray, it's a glass ashtray uh, which I use as um, the, the painting palette. Um, other than that, uh, uh, one specific question that was asked for me was that how do you do you make like imagine? It's, I don't imagine these pictures; they are just natural oh, pictures that that I click or people click on Pinterest or Tumblr, and I just use them as reference and make my own painting out of those. So there's not specific, and this can be available anywhere as per the creativity of the creator. Here I'm trying to make the branches is by mixing blue and brown. See, I don't specifically like the color, um, the, the original color of things, you know, that branches are brown, so I have to make the brown only. I don't, I don't prefer that using making my paintings because I like playing with colors. So I decided to go with a brown and a little bit of blue mixed with that, which will create a very beautiful texture color of um, dark brown bush kind of color which i really like because uh, in the mid like in the dim light you cannot decide what what color you are you're seeing right it is totally dependent on the creator's uh, imagination or the the creativity that which sort of colors they are going to use on this and add the little details now the details need not be some you know specific and need not be perfect you can you can do anything that you would like to do with your painting and don't worry the outcome will be great just trust on the process trust the 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 creativity that you are having in your mind and the outcome will be great you don't worry about it right now i'm trying to paint the leaves uh, i've started with uh, the color green and uh, I've added a little bit of yellow in it uh, with that I have you know, evenly neatly on all the branches see it totally depends on you what sort of green you are trying to make see the the dimness of the light will affect the the texture of the leaves at midnight at the, at the evening so um, Keeping that in mind, I tried to make some specific leaves of darker colors and then some light colors. Uh, in at the starting, I'm trying to make some some you know detailed leaves, but later on, as you proceed, you'll see that I'll I'll just make random leaves. Later on, I'll just smudge them all because um, that's my way of creating. Uh, the paintings or the creating the details I, I go from the basic to the uh, to extreme path so I started to make some um, details and then I'll go all on over it and make all the random leaves that are gonna be there so it is totally depending upon your creativity also, if you are not using acrylic colors and you are using uh, the oil colors or pastel colors or poster colors you are using, then you must make sure that you 
mix the colors in the painting palette uh, with acrylic colors i mix the color not mix the color i take colors on the brushes and then start painting you know i don't specifically need them on the painting palette sometimes i use the colors from the water so make sure to use the painting palette which i am unfortunately not able to um see that is what i was talking about i'll evenly spread all the leaves throughout the the branches and then i'll stress them all because the details are already there see the basic details of the main foundation that you make in the beginning of the picture now that will even if you do cover it and later on when the painting dries it will be visible so make sure what the the foundation that you are establishing will definitely reflect later when the painting is dry if you talk about the color that i'm using see uh, i have started from the dark green then light green i added a little bit of yellow a little bit of white then light green again mm. Do over and over and over again until you're satisfied with the outcome. You can make leaves endlessly for two hours, but when you stop making them, you must be satisfied. If you don't like it, make them again. See what happens is that the more time that you spend on your painting would be resulting in the better outcome. You know, the painting requires time. The 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 vision that you have in your mind requires patience. the more amount of patience and time you involve with it the better outcome will it be in the beginning um but if you are an established or if you have that, that sort of painting be then that you can obviously check it in the first move only but as i'm a beginner i try doing it this way now you can use that idea to Now I'm I'm trying to make the the wires the which we have in India the light wires electricity wires so I I making it with the same color adding a little bit of black in it and um, with the same zero number brush that I'm trying to make it and um, one thing that I would like to mention over here that uh, the more light your hand as you know the less weight that you have on your brush would result into the finest lines that i have discovered today so you need to be very specific about the weight that you are putting on your see the second time the second wire that i made and i understood that what sort of weight is required so if you are not uh, like uh, not ready to directly do um, the lines on the painting Do it somewhere else first, then do it on the painting. So see, third wire is is perfect for the first go. Now I'm trying to make a little couple of birds. So these as well not need not to be specific because they are in the in, uh, on the wire. So the colors are not clear. They they it's, the board itself is not clear. So just to be specific about the outer lines and. Um, That's all. In case you are you thinking that um, like the borders about this picture, so I didn't show it in the beginning, but I have taped them, so don't worry about it. Any other suggestions regarding any sort of acrylic painting that you are trying to give me? Please suggest me on the comment section and what sort of uh, other paintings you would like me to make. Please suggest them in the comment section. Um. See, I'm reading the um, the leaves because I'll do it and again, again until unless I'm satisfied. Right here, I'm just taking out the the tape and then we're ready to go. Um, one more thing, please make sure to remove your tape very um patiently because I am a master of mistakes and I do lots of mistakes, so some things always happen with me. So I generally prefer doing the this date off camera, but now that I wanted to show the whole process, I have to do it off camera. So I did it my way. Um, yeah, we can be different. Just make sure that um, 
the painting was not finished so yes i love them please let me know in the comment section how was the outcome and how did you like it and also uh, make sure to comment down what was the favorite part of the video any other suggestion that you would like to to give me or any other painting that you would like to to me to make please comment down thank you so much